It's not good enough for me since I've been with you. Ooh. It's not gonna work for you. Nobody can equal me. No, no. Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi, and I'm so excited to bring you guys along for another vlog. Today's vlog is so exciting because I'm going to try out Nusrat, the new steak restaurant in London. I've been to the one in Dubai before, I'm a huge fan, so I've basically got dressed up and ready for that. I'm going with two of my girlfriends. I'll show you guys everything that we order. I'll tell you if it's worth the hype. There are so many memes going on right now saying that it is too expensive. Um, and it, to be fair, I've seen some of the prices and it does look much more expensive than Dubai. But I will give you a fair judgment um, and tell you my honest opinion what I think. But anyway, you're here to come along with me for the whole night and for the rest of this vlog. So, welcome. I'm going to start by showing you guys my outfit for tonight. As you can guess, it's very pink themed. Pink and gold blazer, black Zara body suit, and pink Louboutin heels to match. And I've matched it all with gold jewelry. So I've just packed up. This is Lily hi guys. and Asa, and we're about to go eat. Did you say hi properly? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was the that I've ever seen. Bear in mind, this girl is usually on body 100, and she's on three right now. And um, we're in Knightsbridge and we're about to go have our dinner. I'm so excited. If you wanna run away with me, I know a galaxy and I can take you for a ride. I had a premonition that we fell into a rhythm where the music don't stop for life. Glitter in the sky, glitter in my eyes, shining just the way you like. If you're feeling like you need a little bit of company, you met me at the perfect time. You want me, I want you, baby. My sugar boo. I'm levitating, the Milky Way, we're renegading yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, moonlight, you're my starlight I need you, all night, come on dance with me I'm levitating, you, moonlight, so you're we just my sat down starlight and we ordered our food um, Oh, also, I'm getting really bombed by an Oscar in the background Hey girl! Um, we're really excited, also we've been making a million jokes about how we're literally the only girls table here. I don't understand what's going on. Everyone's like coupled up or like in groups. We're the only like girls only table really weird. Oh actually the table behind us the table behind us is girls only too. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Finally winning. Um but the ambience is nice. I thought it would be a bit more dim. Did you not think it would be a bit more dim? Yeah, I thought it would be good. Yeah no yeah. I everyone in 4K, HD, I don't know how I feel like. <laughs> um, but it is nice and like a calm environment. <laughs> So continuing my honest review, I think the steak 
we had is a 7 out of 10. Are you new a salsa is 6 out of 10. I say 7 out of 10. Bearing in mind the one I had in Dubai was 10 out of 10. Um, the sides are all lacking salt, which is just ironic because he's salt bay. Honestly, if I was really air cutting the things he's cutting, it would be so really air Like that's all it is. Average, average. So, there's no salt on, on any of the sides. I'm just, I don't know, as in, I'm, I'm, I think it's cool to come here, but like the Dubai one is actually worth the hype of him being so insta famous. Whereas this one, if I'd never been to Salt Bay before, I would be a bit disappointed. Okay, are we coming back? Are we coming back? I'm not rushing to come back, but I would come back. Yeah. I'll come back because London has like a range of restaurants that are like really like nice upscale and they have like good food but I wouldn't say this is the best steak I wouldn't even say this is the best upscale steak in London no definitely not yeah. so yeah but it's good also not to mention the fact that it's double the price of any high end restaurant in London I I don't I don't know Himself. He's really nice, so I feel bad. But I told him my honest review, so I don't feel bad publishing this video if I've told him myself how I feel. But it's not a bad review, it's just like I think everywhere when they first open as well, there's always like room for like improvement and You're stuff. Being nice right now. Guess the bill. Guess the bill, go. 320. I think you're, you guys are ambitious. Wait. I'm gonna guess 400. In the grave, when I die, put my money in the grave. Talking about how soul doesn't know the lyrics to any songs. Guys, I could hear a song maybe 20, 30 times and I still would not know the lyrics. And I'll just be like, ah, nah, nah. yeah, <laughs> so no no lyrics and it's the same with everything else like I'm just not very good at regurgitating things apart from people's names I make an effort to learn people's names you must um, have I had to okay go on I curled my hair Very, very chill. I'm literally in a proper jacket that I wear every day. Yeah. I'm not in the so. Look at my um, I can't remember the last time Sol and I went out alone together because 
this week that's just gone, Sol was ill. The week before that, I was ill, not COVID, thank God. But still, we were unwell. So, and then the week before that, we went out together as a group, right? Yeah. So we actually haven't been out alone together. Yeah. In ages. Whereas we went through this phase of going out alone together. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Thank you, hey. So, let the fun continue. <laughs> Sol and I are. Yeah, my hair looks awful. Sorry. No, your hair looks nice. Sol and I are on a coffee break. We are at our clinic. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we have an aesthetic clinic called Dr. S Aesthetics. Someone turned around to me. I don't know. I think he watches my vlogs, but I won't name him. But um, a friend turned around to me and said, "You know, you and your sisters have all three of your doctors. Would it be amazing if you like set up like some sort of medical clinic together?" And I literally looked at him and I was like, you've even visited and seen the clinic. Like, is there no connection there? It was really, really funny. Um, but yeah, that was, that was quite a funny one. Um, so today we have a mixture of procedures, as we always do. We always tend to have um, a mixture of stuff booked in. But it is a busy day and we have just given ourselves a little coffee break and going to have our lunch ah yeah 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 you, you know that song where it goes ah yeah 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 it is raining in london like mad and even me who has the straightest hair is starting to get frizzy hair so no one else stands a chance you just yawn in my vlog i apologize it wasn't at your vlog it was no we just go this way oh hello and come shopping. Our clinic is based in Harley Street, which is We've in come central to buy London. Sophie a little bag because she's gone on about getting this bag for such a long while. So I thought finally today, just so. What are you on about? We're not getting a bag. Let's get that little bag. I don't want to get a bag. I don't want to get it. Come on. Did you trick me? Did you bring me here to try and buy me a bag? No, you don't need money a bag. I know I don't need to. Come on. Look at this outfit. It's very busy considering how rainy and awful the weather is. It's very, very busy. It's actually really nice. I know. <laughs> it feels like normality. Yeah, it's lovely. Very nice. You smell lovely. What are you wearing? As to you. Thank you. I'm wearing Louis Vuitton Oud Nomad. Sol's very insistent on buying me a bag. I've never argued with someone <laughs> so much. It's very random. Hello. Hi. Are you helping anyone? So today is Sunday and I literally told my dad I want to film and he has sat off the, what is that thing called? Like a wind chime, that's it. Um, today is Sunday. I don't know why my face is so itchy right now. I need to take an antihistamine. But today is Sunday and last night I went to bed at 10.30pm. Um, I had gone out the night before. We went clubbing with a few friends and my sisters and one of the girls that I work with, Dami, and it was really fun. Um, so it had been, it had been quite a long 24 48 hour period so i deserved you know a 10 30 p.m sleep and i literally woke up at like 11 a.m and also recently i keep having the most random dream I, was, I dreamt about like a priest last night like came to my dreams and the night before i dreamt about the archbishop so like i don't really know what's going on like and then like angels and stuff like that so i don't know what's going on but like i always dream a lot and i like to know the meaning of my dreams i like to think that it has something to do with my life even though i've never managed to work out the pattern i tried to keep a dream diary for a while but then i was like what do i really do with this information so if anyone knows what like ways to figure out what your dream means tell me because i am so interested i always want to know what's going on so today i'm going to edit and upload this vlog um and then i'm going to go to the gym i'm going to revised for a bit i want to read some more of this book i literally brought it downstairs to show you guys on the camera i am obsessed with this book it's called how to win friends and influence people and it is so 
like eye opening. I literally only read the first 30 pages and I went to work the next day and would not shut up about how good this book is. It's by Dale Carnegie and I think it's Sol's favourite book in the world and author. Um, but I just, I'd heard her talk about this a lot growing up and I was in the bookshop a few days ago and I just picked it up and I thought why not read this? And it just kind of teaches, taught me a lot of things that I've been doing wrong. And a lot of things that I have been doing right in my interactions and relationships with other people. And I really, really couldn't recommend it more. I know, like, you might be thinking there's nothing wrong with my relationship or interactions with other people. Or I have my friends or whatever. This isn't really about that. This is a lot more insightful. Um, so I really, really recommend it if any of you guys are looking for a book. Um, I also wanted to show you guys what bag Sol got me. She is so cute. So basically, I've been saying that I want this bag for ages, but I think me and Sol are kind of like the same. Like we would easily spend like our money on going out or let's say something that we've really like saved up for. Like, I don't know, like recently I bought my car. That's an example. And then we would buy each other gifts that are like this, but we wouldn't buy ourselves gifts that are like this. I don't know why. This is like a recent thing for me. I used to always splurge on random little stuff but anyway I told her that I really want this bag and then she's walked me into Selfridges after our clinic and got me this bag and I was really surprised and like I really was like don't like you don't need to blah blah but she was very insistent so if someone's gonna really insist on getting me a bag then why not um but it's from Jacquemus I love the brand I like um the style of their bags as well and this is the red Chiquito bag I think okay let me see what it says on the tag this is J Jacques Le Chiquito in medium in the colour red. And I absolutely love it. And she, I thought I wanted a black one. She said that I should be a bit more adventurous with colour. And then I picked up the red one and I really, really loved it. So I also feel like red is the kind of colour that works in summer and in winter. You can wear it in summer with pink dresses or you can wear it in winter with like a black outfit and it pops. So I really, really like it and I love it. I really like it and love it. Yeah. I guess I do. Um, so thank you so much, So I love this gift. If anyone else wants to randomly force gifts on me, I'm down. <laughs> anyway, I am going to end this vlog here. It's also really sunny in London today, which has really, like, lifted my mood. Um, so I'm going to go try and enjoy this, like, good weather. Make the most of it because my mood is really heavily linked to weather, which is why, ultimately, I'd love to move to a warmer country one day. Okay, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I like I'm doing you guys' head in. I will see you in my next vlog. I'm going to try and upload every two, three days. So, you know, fingers crossed. Mwah, love you.